Hey y'all, it's Cherokee Starfish. And Specific Pixel. And welcome to Chrono Cross. God, I love that opening so much. <laughs> well, I tell you what, that music slaps. Uh, uh, that 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 first track is uh, one that sticks with you. And uh, this game is one that sticks with you. I love this game so much, guys. You have no idea how excited I am to play it. <laughs> <sighs> okay, we're going to get started in here. Okay. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> Skip that demo screen. <laughs> you want <laughs> so you want Chrono Cross to be narrated by your favorite character. This is my show. <laughs> We're not doing that. <laughs> we have to give the people what they want. Hmm. <laughs> but I'm the people. What about what I want? My needs. Well, we know that what you want is a new game of <sighs> Chrono Cross. God, I love this. Yes, I want the vibrations on. Are you kidding? I want to feel the game. <laughs> Okay, so we start off with everybody's favorite game. We get to pick the name of our character. Yeah, so uh, of course, there is our uh, our handsome anime protagonist, our silent protagonist, silent but strong. And uh, we have to begin the game before we can do anything else by calling him something. Yep. So the default name for our MC here is Surge. Not to be confused with that uh, soft drink that gave young people heart attacks back in like the nineties. <laughs> so you you want to call him? Do you want to call him Josta? <laughs> Does anybody here even know what Josta is? Well, except that, I thought, you. I thought that's what you were talking about. Like the, like, I mean, I like surge is still a thing, isn't it? Don't they still? Have it is some? extremely rare, my guy. <laughs> So anyway, yeah, um, as is traditional for many JRPGs, uh, we, uh, we're going to have to call him something. So do y'all want to just stick with the default name, or do you want to live spicy and actually change it up a bit? Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, mm, uh, yes. What? Uh, orange. That's the other, like color of nuclear fission as opposed to the bright green that it was here if i went somewhere and bought a orange surge i would be super upset and confused okay well uh so i guess i guess the people have spoken since you planted that planted that earworm into them <laughs> i gotta get my licks in early just it is then okay oh it's gonna be like that all right With an O, right? Mm-hmm. Just. That's the, uh, actually, oh, this is super appropriate for reasons that I will not reveal until later, because we don't know who's played the game and who hasn't. Oh, God. I want to name him Mountain Dew, too. Mm. We could also name him Mountain Dew. Uh, <laughs> that's really good. Okay. Real quick, Josta or Mountain Dew? Because I only have two, three, four, five, six, six characters here. Yeah, we do have here. six slots. Or Fanta. Ooh, F Fanta's also pretty good. Hmm. Mm. Pitch is in pitch black. Or, oh, what's the blue one that you like? Because he has blue hair. Voltage? V-O-L-T-A-G. Oh, we could name it with Voltag. Voltag? <laughs> it wouldn't fit. <laughs> it wouldn't fit. <laughs> Very unfortunate. Uh, Voltag, Voltag the Protag. <laughs> Voltage. <laughs> We're off to a great start. This is the discourse I live for right here. <laughs> okay. Well, uh, how does that sound to everybody else then? Do you want to stick with Josta or do you want to call him Voltag? Mm. Volt voltage. There is a voltage. correct answer, by the way. <laughs> is there? I'm not. I'm not saying what it is, but I am definitely giving oh. him. Oh, there we yeah, the alternate spelling. We can fit it all in. Vol voltage with the J. Voltage is very powerful. Let's go with voltage. Oh, it even, it's man. even kind of like Surge. 
I'm loving that. Okay. Like a surge of electricity. All right. Voltage. Wow. Okay. That's okay. What, well, that's what no, you're right. After. I just wish I had thought of Even that. Even though his name is spelled like Sergey, it's, you know, it's Surge, so. <laughs> oh, I'm already messing up. This is, th this is some, some, like, all seven chakras in alignment Oop. shit. There we go. <laughs> okay. All right, here we go. The Adventures of Voltage. It is time for a new adventure. That wasn't even a joke. That's just what people say. Yeah, but it's Chrono Cross, uh, right? Like. <laughs> okay. All right. Anyway, I'm not going to be able to avoid the time puns, I'm sure. So we're just moving on. There will be, I guarantee, a minimum of one time pun every stream or your money back. All right, so this is Chrono Cross. It's my favorite game ever, probably. Uh, definitely top five. And it starts off with this. No explanation. You're just here in this big old tower for reasons. It's always time for a time pun. Yeah, I like modern protagonists where they have an identity, um, and I thought that what Mass Effect did in order to fully voice everything and all of the conversations was, was really clever, and similar games have done the same, but I do miss when naming your main character was kind of a big deal. Oh, hey, okay. So, oh. for those of you not in the know, here at this beginning, this part is actually slightly RNG. This person who's talking right now is Razly. You'll see them later, maybe. Um, yeah, this is a character we may or may not ever see again. Oh. And also, this is also a really good point to ask. Um, how is the music for y'all? Is that a bit loud? Should we go ahead and turn that down? Or I forgot about everybody's naming quirks for the main character. Oh, yeah, that's Voltage right. <laughs> right, because Razley does that. To... Okay, as long as y'all can hear us and the game, good. Okay, okay awesome. Uh, as I was saying, this first bit is a little bit of RNG, and this person uh, is actually randomized at the very beginning of the game every single time. It could be any of the main characters that you can pick throughout the throughout the game. Yep, so you start with the protagonist, his sidekick kid, this young lady right here, and then a random third person. Just you wait, Lynx. Today's gonna be the day of reckoning. Say your prayers, not that it'll do you any good. She's got that sort of caught me accent. Yeah, she's very Australian heavy. Mad laughter. You're not going to do the mad laughter? I mean, my mouth is too close to the mic. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Should I do Razzly? Uh, Razzly is going to be a non-entity, I feel. So, oh, you think so? Yeah, well, like I said, we may not even see her ever again. This may be the only time. That's fair, depending on it the was choices. Me the, it was meant to be a terrible accent. You're welcome. All right, let's get through this. The left is nothing. I played this game to know that much. <laughs> well, so uh, if you are not familiar with Chrono Cross, this is from this is on the the PlayStation, the PSX. Uh, it came out in mm, yeah. 1999, I think. And it's sort of a spiritual sequel to Chrono Trigger, which I am sure that you have heard of, even if you've never heard of Chrono Cross or never played it. Um, it has received kind of, you know, mixed reviews. Because um, it's not exactly the same thing oh, as oh, absolutely Chrono not. Trigger, so... Spiritual Successor is being generous, I think, as much as I love this game. Uh, it's It's got stuff from Chrono Trigger in it, but it's not enough to make it like a direct sequel by any means. If anything, think of it more like a... It's another game that takes place in the same world and deals with a lot of the same stuff. Yeah, um, think of it like a... Ah, oh, darn it. Think of it like an, an alternate universe for Chrono Trigger. Is the best way I can really try to describe it for you. I really kind of wanted to avoid some of these. Look at those chonky graphics. Love this. Love them. Look at our boy. Yep. Get a good look at Voltage. There he is. There he is. He's here. So, uh, I'm going to explain this game a little bit, but uh, I wanted to try to avoid some of these battles because they don't really give us anything here at the very beginning. They just kind of waste our time. 
but I'll, uh, whoop, no, that one, this one. But it is good to showcase a little bit. So the battle system in this game is really strange in that you have magic and you have attacks, but the thing about it is that your attacks are broken up into three different categories. You've got a weak attack, a, a middling attack, and then a very strong attack. Now, the thing about them is that they're percentile based, and the more you hit, the more the percentile goes up. They and basically they... combo together. Right. And you want to use them like that because they're broken up into one, two, and three, which is also how much you get to use your magic. It brings up your bars for it. Yeah, effectively, the hits that you land charge your spellcasting ability. So if right. you have to alternate between physically attacking and using your magic. Mm hmm. So and, uh, that, that means that, like, I, I think that the lower attacks down, like, um, or the stronger attacks get more accurate as you do the weaker attacks first, right? Yep, stronger attacks get more accurate as you do the weaker attacks. All attacks technically get more accurate, you just have to land a hit. Woo! I'm gonna pause here for a second because there's gonna be some more voice acting. Oi! What the bloody hell just happened? What are we doing out here? Oh my god. <laughs> Chat's good with the jokes today. Wow. Bugger. We so high up. Is this thing floating? I'm just... I'm gonna go all over the place with that. <laughs> Did it feel like your body passed through the floor just now? This sure is some fort. A voltage... <laughs> I'm gonna play a drinking game. Every time that we say someone says voltage, take a shot. You have to take a shot of Mountain Dew. <laughs> Thank you. Good. Yes, that's exactly what I'm going for. <laughs> like I want to start in approximately Sussex, and by the end of the stream, I want to be in New Zealand. <laughs> <laughs> you all right, mate? You've been acting all weird. Who knows what's up ahead? So just stay on your toes, eh? God. <laughs> I don't know how much of this I'm going to be able to do because I'm making myself giggle. <laughs> <laughs> it's alright. We're here for fun. Oh, yeah. As long as we're having fun, well, then is, we're doing a good job. Kid is definitely a character. There's actually technically um, two games, I think. There, there's at least one game, there might be two, that link Chrono Trigger and Chrono Cross, and they're called Radical Dreamers. They come between the two of them, and they explain why Kid is here and who she is. Um, and they make Chrono Cross make a lot more sense as a sequel to Chrono Trigger. And because Radical Dreamers was never released in English, that's one of the things that causes Chrono Cross to kind of uh, get like get received the way that it is. Come off as uh, disattached from the rest of the franchise mm -hmm. as it is. Good morning, Voltage. That's what I say every morning, too. <laughs> Agreed. I We were robbed. Radical Dreamers should have been ported over here. Honestly, that's true. Oh, and also, fair warning, uh, be prepared for all of the music in this game to be very good. Yes. The way that it generally is in Squaresoft games. Love the music. The OST is so good in this game. And that's not just nostalgia talking, I'm sure. Whoop. So, just like in most RPGs, we find ourselves uh, awoken from a dream in our room. <laughs> and this is where we have... This is where the real game starts. Yep, that first part uh, was kind of... Uh, it's treated as like a dream sequence. And the first thing I'm going to do is take out all of my money. Nah, we don't need a rest. We just woke up. Yeah, there's quite a few secrets hi uh, hidden around throughout the game uh, to find where is it? like that. And they can make a big difference at the beginning, especially. In fact, we're going to show you there one key is. item we can pick up that makes a huge difference. And you'll see why when we get there, Pixel will explain it. Am I crazy? They're supposed to be... Ah, there it is. Have you found it? The tablet. Okay. So m both magic and items in this game take the form of elements. Yep, right here. Which you have to either use if they're consumable or allocate, which means you equip them. Uh, right now we've only got three element. Oh, hmm. Gonna have to figure this one out. 
There you go. We've got three... Nope, still not doing it. Well, that's because it's uh, level one only. We've already got... So five. level one plus or minus zero. It's been a hot second. <laughs> anyway, so... Uh, so the thing about tablets is that they're a consumable magic, uh, which you don't get a whole lot of the game. Te technically, you get a lot of them, but there are not very many consumable types of magic. Right, like there's not a wide variety. Yeah, there's like one for each element, and this is our mom. Yep, congratulations. Uh, your mom's not dead. Yep, you have a mother in this game. She doesn't die. You're finally up. The sun's already reached high noon. <laughs> Momj. Momj. Mom Mormj. Momj. Surge and Momj. Oh, yeah, and she reminds you you're supposed to meet with Lena this morning. Mm -hmm. Lena, who is ostensibly your girlfriend. Lena, who is absolutely your girlfriend. <laughs> you, young man, we're still off in Never Never Land. <laughs> oh, man. A world in which you're still allowed to sleep till noon. Yeah. Mm. Truly a fantasy land. Oh. Uh, also, mom, also let me out. your mom <laughs> comes with a free cat, which you can pet. Yep. Two free cats. <laughs> oh, that was sleepy. Okay, we're not gonna go talk to Lena just yet. There's some stuff I want to do first. Uh, I'm gonna come over here. Sweet, and I got us a new frame, which is this thing, the border for where the talk bubbles show up. We got this gaudy thing. Yep, and whenever you get one, it always shows you kind of like what it's going to look like so you can preview it. Lena did not build a robot. <laughs> Go talk to this guy. He wants to know what we think of this sawfish. It's pretty impressive, I guess. It's the biggest sawfish that I ever saw. Fish. Yeah, sure, you're right. Yep, mm -hmm. it really is true. And from here on out, happiness will be rolling in. Apparently, it's good luck to catch a uh, fish from the Dragon King Palace. I mean, if you catch anything that size in a fishing village, it's got to be good luck, right? Surely. Well, at the very least, it's good business, which he recognizes. Eat as much squid gut pasta as I want up in Termina. Like, that sounds bad. Mm, it kind of does. Like, I like pasta, but that sounds bad. <laughs> yeah, thanks for playing along, he says. <laughs> it's alright. Ah, but thank you for the Komodo scale. There aren't enough dreams out there lately. Yes, a phrase that will uh, come back, not quite to haunt us, but it will be relevant. Yeah. What is popular, young child? What's popular among the girls? Correct. Ah, I see. This has quest written all over it. Komodo dragons confirmed. Not quite. <laughs> they are very different. They're, they're not the same Komodo dragons that we have here. Boy, he's in a fix. Hey, it's okay, <laughs> kid. I've got something for you. Oh, right, I forgot. Uh, so yeah, you can actually hit, is it square? Uh-huh, yep. Yep, to, to use key items and give them to people. Of course it's real. I guess you can have it. <laughs> I'm not selling it. That's not what's happening here. Well, if you give it to him for free, then he gives you this. And he also tells you this. Yep. Poshal's favorite food is Hecran bones. So. Something important to know. This is going to be a little bit of me running around, gathering up some stuff, and then after I'm done with all of that, starting the actual quest line here. Setting up for us. I gotta talk to this girl. So she wants to talk about poetry. Sanity leads to chaos, then to solitude. The fruitless effort of adding meaning to what is meaningless. 
A lone crimson tear falls to the sea. The echo of the remaining star cries out in the infinite vacuum. Scream! The, le <laughs> the least I can do is send my distant prayers over the wind of time, setting sail on dreams. <laughs> it was good, I guess. Were you moved? Uh, by the controller. She's been dreaming about becoming a poet. Dreams are a big thing in this. <laughs> oh yeah, that weird little pig dog thing. So weird. There's a lot of really strange creature designs in here uh, and I love all of them. <laughs> I was just saying how good the work environment is. Yeah, this is Belcha's kitchen, by the way. If you can't, if you can't see the sign over there, part of the Cha family he is. Uh, no thanks. We don't need to listen to it again. And they're they're pretty good about uh, having, like, every character's got sort of a uh, a speech quirk. So you saw how Belcha was like, "What you saying about my restaurant?" So this is apparently just a barrel. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what do you want already? I said I'm just a barrel. Fine. Just take it, man. Here. Hey, we got another uplift. Hooray for us. So what he's collecting right now are elements. Uh, and Which is elements, the magic of the game. Yeah, elements are both your magic and your items. Free helmet. And uh, you have an element grid for each character. And a Hecker Moon. And you have to allocate these elements in different slots, and each of them has restrictions on, like, what level in the grid they can be placed. So, like, for example, you saw the tablet was 1 plus or minus 0, so it can only be placed in a first level slot on the element grid. But then there are other elements, like Uplift, which is actually a spell. And it can be like one uh, plus or minus six. So it can be placed all the way up to the maximum, which is the seventh level of the element grid. And what that means is, remember how attacking fills up your uh, your magic charge? So basically, uh, if you do like a level three attack, a strong attack, you'll get three points of charge up your elemental grid. Uh, and then if you do another strong attack, that'll be six, and then a weak attack would be seven, or, and so on. So the strength of the attack is equivalent to how it charges the elemental grid, and that's what you need in order to access a spell. Then when you use that element, it will drain the charge and take you back to zero and you start over again, so you have to alternate attacking and casting in order to access everything that you have on your grid. But if you take a weaker element and place it further up the grid, it becomes more powerful. Uh, lately, when he gets to see and Kiki, he thinks, what if I had chosen a different path ten years ago? That's also a big theme, is the whole what-if scenario. What if I had done something different or made different choices in this game? Which is another reason why I love it. It's like getting to see the two sides of those what-if scenarios. Yeah, you would be living completely differently now. We'll see yeah. some of that. Not saying which one would have been better. I just wonder where the other path might have led me. Yes, dreams and regrets. That's a big theme in Chrono Cross. It's fun to explore. I think they do a good job of intertwining these stories, too. Boy, life sure is complex. Oh, hey, do you want this? BT dubs? I absolutely want that amulet of Lion Shark TP made 10 years ago. And I don't need it anymore. I've got my wife and daughter, so. Cool, thanks. Sweet necklace. That'll come in handy later. I think we can actually... If I remember correctly, I believe all of the items in the game that you collect actually have art associated with them. Yes! Mm -hmm. So we actually have a little bit of a description and a little bit of art to go with every single item that we pick up. At least all the key items, anyway. Mm-hmm. So there you can see the shark tooth and then the Hecron bone. Perfect From for making stock Hecran. to be used in soups and stews. Whatever a Hecron is. I actually know if we see a Hecron or not. We get enough Hecron from chat. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
Okay, let's see. I think we've got one other place to, to go. Come on. supposed to be... Oh, it's in the bucket, I think. Yep. There we go. Photon Ray. Our first white element. Which is good, because our character surge here is white aligned. There's Poshal. This is my house. Enter at own risk. Poshal's great. Poshal is best girl. I think Poshal's actually a boy. Nope. Poshal is a girl. Hmm pretty sure. Well, I know a way to find out. Let's go meet them. So we're gonna go over here to the town hall. And there's Poshal! Giant and pink and fluffy! Hey, Poshal! <laughs> and, uh... Good luck pronouncing that. Poshal's, uh, vocal tick or, or speech quirk is that she puts poo on the end of everybody's names. So like voltigi poo, voltigi poo, voltigi poo. I am a bit busy right now. Have you already met a Pavlina? Me thinks she was by the pier. Hey. So, Poshal is important because, um, yeah. See, she is a <laughs> she is a fabulous lady. This uh, is Poshal the Wonder Dog. Of course, yes, she's fabulous. Poshal the Wonder Dog. Is, is that a Hecron bone? Voltage a, 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 a present for for I? <laughs> How do you know? Hmm. To accept or not to accept? Oh, you know you want it. <clears throat> me accept your present, and me shall help you. Me will do anything you want. Me will be honored to be by your side. Me will use my pretty miracle power X. Me will do it. Tiggy poo. <laughs> <laughs> yes, first party member. So there is a uh, there's a musical sting that we love to hear. So uh, Poshal is the first person you can get to join, obviously very early. But here's what's really important. Something you all will love. We get to name every single recruitable character we get. Yes. You if, can rename them all if they can join your party they can be renamed manually. So hopefully y'all are going to have a lot of fun with this playthrough because there are, what is it, 40 characters, I oh, think? Oh, God, yeah. 40-ish characters. And um, you cannot get all of them in one playthrough, unfortunately. We yeah. will have to make some choices. But the ones that we do get, it's up to y'all. You get to call them whatever you want. So what do you all think? What, should we rename Poshal the Wonder Dog Extraordinaire? Yes. What are what are we gonna call Poshal? Please bring us some names. There's not uh, there's not quite enough spaces to call her like Clefairy, which no. is what she kind of reminds me of. Or no, not Clefairy. What is it? Uh, egg Pokemon, the nurse. Chancy. Chancy. There we go. Thank you. Why could I not remember Chansey? Why can't you remember Chansey? I don't know. Palms? Palms. Palms. Like tomatoes? Or or like the French word for apple? Is it apple? I thought it was tomato. Yeah, because no, palm, palms de terre is potato. Apple of the earth. Oh, you're right. <laughs> My cat. <laughs> A Pomeranian. Apples. Huh, that's clever. I like that. Hmm. Do we hear? <laughs> uh, well, unfortunately, we only have six letters. Yeah, you guys do have that restriction. We only have six letters to work yeah. with here for all for all characters. Amazing how people can only have a name that is six letters long or less. Yeah, it's wild, honestly. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. We could just name her Pink. Pank? Pank. Because she's pank. She's very pank. She's very pank. The most pank. Big, I don't think there's any pink left in the world. Big pink. She got it all. Large. Palms is pretty good. I'm liking you, palms. You want to go with that? We can go with palms. Palms. Oh. 
There we go. All right. Everybody, welcome palms to the team. And you can have uh, up to two other characters in your party, as you saw before, and they follow you around, classic style. Oh yeah, I almost forgot about the aqua bean. Mm-hmm. Everybody forgets about the aqua bean. It's fine though. <laughs> do 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 do. I'll get to this in a second. I want to come over here first. Yeah, because there's also yep the cure. Finding them all over the place, and uh, these are going to be important because all these free elements. They're going to come in really handy very, very soon. So right here we've got a bunch of um, villagers lining up to this giant green triangle thing. That's a save point. And the save points are diegetic. Yeah, the the game that everybody in the game actually knows about and uses save points. They're called the Record of Fate. That's exactly right. Voltage, there it is. The Record of Fate. It records everything, good or bad. If you see one of those things outside, don't forget to record everything you've done so far. Think of how terrible it would be if you lost your past. There wouldn't be anything you could do about it. Apparently that's a thing that happens to people in this world as well. Yep, I so don't know. the save points are real in the game world and are acknowledged, which is uh, kind of a bold choice, but there is a reason which will be discussed later. And, uh, and actually, if you want to go talk to Chief Radius, doesn't he give you an explanation of elements? He I sure think? does. He gives us a whole butt-whooping tutorial is what he yes. gives us. Here is our wonderful chieftain of the village of El Nido. Yep. Love those village eyebrows. Of, village of Arnie. I'm sorry. Arnie. I keep saying El Nido. It's the El Nido, like, islands. or Archipelago. Archipelago, yeah. How would you like to join everyone for my lecture? I guess so. Today's lecture is the fundamentals of attack and the art of elements. Sure, why not? We've already kind of gone over it, but Radius here is going to give you a better explanation. Yeah. Well, let's get on with it. Then me will watch from here. Good luck. <laughs> Basically. Yes. Ho, ho, ho. Oh, come on, Voltage. Don't hold back. So here you can see you have the option of a weak attack at 87%. And when he used it, the second and third levels both went up. And it's eventually they'll cap at 99% if you get all the way through the combo. And you can see over here on Voltage's uh, like status block, you can see level 2 and it's blinking, showing like that's how much uh, charge he has built up because he's only got two elements equipped right now. Right. So now, Pixel can go down to element and can choose to use one of those, any that he has charged up to. Now first, here's some basic advice on attacking, so listen up, youngin'. You know that the three different attack levels, weak, strong, and fierce, each have differing accuracy values, don't you? Every time you hit your opponent, each of these values increase to make it easier for your next attack to hit its mark. A good strategy is to start with weak blows, which have the highest chance of succeeding, and then build up to strong and fierce blows. So rather than attacking willy-nilly, you should aim to build up your hit percent. If your fierce attacks don't hit home, you're just wasting your energy. And then he beats us. Boom. He is not an old man to be messed around with. Oh, and something I should probably point out over here. If I attack and uh, hover over an enemy over here, you can see it tells me the name. HP is not here right now because, of course, you don't notice that. But it also gives me their innate element. Radius is green. He'll explain that later, too. Mm -hmm. Love having a lot of accuracy. <laughs> oh, you're not even close. Don't be trusting in your hit percent too much there, boy. As long as it's not 100%, you still run the risk of missing continuously, don't you? Sometimes it pays to muster up the courage to use strong and fierce attacks straight from the start, too. Hey, yeah! <laughs> That's right. Beat me senseless, old man. Next, let's check out the use of elements. 
When you use an element, the color of that element's attribute remains on the battlefield in the form of the field effect. Which you can see in the top left-hand corner. Which is extremely important. Each time you consecutively use the same colored elements, the effectiveness of that colored element group increases. I'll show you. Let's fill up all the field effect attributes with the color blue, and try using a blue element after me. I'm just gonna let him do that because I did not equip any elements coming into this. Oh, you got cure. Yeah, but That's here's blue. the here's the thing about uh, elements in this game. Once you use them in battle, you can't use them again. Hey there, hurry up and turn all the field effect attributes blue for crying out loud. Don't you know how to use them elements or something, youngin? If that's the case, listen up, boy. It takes some explaining. First, you've got to choose a tech to do some physical damage to your opponent in order to get started. Weak, strong, and fierce attacks each add one, two, or three points to your element power level. See, I already went over all of yeah. this, and I should have just let Radius do it. Yeah. <laughs> your current level is the number that appears above the level symbol under your name there, son. We got excited and got ahead of ourselves. Oh, I nearly forgot to tell you. You won't accumulate any power unless you actually succeed in hitting your opponent. Yep, misses do not count towards that. So be careful, you can't afford to miss. Discharging this accumulated power is what using elements is all about. Once you've built up some power, you will be able to choose the element option from the battle menu. When you select the element option, gray-colored rectangular plates appear on the screen, don't they? Now those plates are the elements you currently have allocated. So, why don't you try using one of those blue elements you have there, boy? Relax, they won't disappear when you use them. You just won't be able to use them again for the rest of this battle, that's all. Once you enter another battle, you'll be able to use them again, so don't hold back now. But even though I say this, I still have to stress that you've got to consider the appropriate time to use your elements. Otherwise, you'll never be able to beat some of the harder enemies you're bound to meet. You've got to form the proper strategy, boy. Oh, but wait, I'm forgetting something important. Must be my old age. There are some elements that disappear in a puff of smoke each time you use them. The element tablet is just one example. Those are called consumable elements. They have the symbol in front of their names. These <laughs> don't regenerate after each battle. However, the benefit of such consumable elements is that you can allocate up to five of these into the same element grid space. Doing so allows you to use several of them in the same battle, unlike basic elements, which normally can only be used once in any one battle. That is why consumable elements also have a number such as times five after their names. That's the number you currently hold in that grid position. These numbers... <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> Shut up, Radius. <laughs> this number will decrease as the elements are used up for good. <laughs> However, after each battle, you can restock more for use next time. Anyway, enough about that. <laughs> More about actually using elements. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, he's just gonna keep going. I'm sure you'll notice that each time you use an element, your element power level, as shown by the level number, will go down. <laughs> it's just simple subtraction, really. For instance, say you're currently at level 3, and you decide to use a, a tablet element allocated at level 1 in your element grid. In this case, 3 minus 1 leaves 2. So your current element power level will now be changed to level 2. Listen, everyone here is queer. We can't do math. Oh my gosh. You can use elements anytime so long as your stamina value is above 1. So in this case, you'll still be able to use elements with a power level of up to level 2 right after using the tablet element. I'm crying. Did you get the gist of it, Sonny? <laughs> <laughs> now do you see the importance of developing good battle tactics? Yes, I do. Just please stop. <laughs> you could build up a little power no! and then use an element, build up a little more power, and then use another element. <sighs> Repeating this over and over? That's okay. Is this now our new favorite character? <laughs> or you can build up your element power to its maximum <laughs> level. And unleash a barrage of elements one after another! That's no problem either! <laughs> Surprise! I've been here the whole time! It's me! Bugenhagen! Cause I'm dying. I'm dying! 
Use whatever strategy you think will work to defeat each of the enemies you come across. It's up to you. There are hordes of monsters out there that you'll never be able to defeat by physical attacks alone, such as this endless cutscene and the looping battle music. You're going to need to master elements to get by, boy. Uh, sorry for the long lecture, though, Sonny. My explanation about elements is officially over. Is it? Why don't you try and use one now? Oh, thank God. And our reward is that he just turns everything blue for us. Cool, uh. cool, cool, cool. You'll also note, too, that not only is the cure uh, more powerful because there's more blue in the field effect, but in addition to that, uh, it was listed, like, the name was Cure Plus One. Because it was one space up from the bottom of where it's baseline. Right, like, because it's one plus or minus six. Yeah. And so, it, since it's in a second level slot, it's Cure Plus One to show you that it's going to be one level more powerful. Ugh. See, the field is completely blue now. Any blue elements you use now will sure pack a punch. Here, try this out. And then he drowns us. Let me show you what I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> he just destroys us. Oh, <laughs> you stupid fool. <laughs> Was that too much for you? Sorry about that, young'un. You should have thought twice before you challenged me. <laughs> Conversely, when there's a lot of blue in the field effect attributes, the elements of the opposite color, red, will be weakened. So try to discern your enemy's attack pattern and fill the field with the opposite color of his attacks as a form of defense. This strategy of using elements is sure to come in handy, so put it to good use, Sonny. And then he condescends to bring you back. It's so fun, like, just so he can kill you again. Hilarious, honestly. I'm not gonna use a tablet on this. <laughs> <laughs> How was that? You learned something there, boy? Yeah, it's like it's like, oh my god, I'm dead, and you're still talking. I'm dead because you killed me. <laughs> anyway, I guess it's time to bring this lesson to an end. There you go. <laughs> and then he just beats us. Hey, yeah. He hit us once with a weak attack and it did 72 damage. Yeah, he was holding back before. Oh, he was. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I'm going to be hearing this music, like, in my sleep tonight. There we go. How's that? Oh, we're free. <laughs> <laughs> Pooped already, eh? And you're still so young. Oh well, don't let it get you down. Come again anytime, Sonny. I'll be glad to tell you all of that again and again and Bye. again and again I'm and again leaving. and again. Oh my god. No, please, Radius, no. I'm sorry, I'll stop. Lena, Lena, Radius beat me up. That kid just jumped into the ocean. He's dead now. Oh, here's Lena. This is our girlfriend. You're late, Voltage. Sleeping in as usual, I suppose. Is this the voice we're going for? You promised you'd go to get some Komodo dragon scales for my necklace, remember? Since you were late, my mom asked me to babysit the kids. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like, listen, it really wasn't about sleeping in. It, it was about, listen, radius. It. I can't even. I'm so sorry. Woohoo! Voltigi, Lena, look at me! No. I'm young and carefree, so full of life. <laughs> Come on, you guys! <laughs> Join us! It feels really good! Unlike the rest of you, we're not here to play. Don't swim out too far now. Okay! I don't want to have gotcha. to swim out and get you. I can't swim in this dress, are you kidding me? Kids sure have it easy. Back yeah, in my day, they don't get beat to... up by the mayor. <laughs> yeah. When you come of age, the mayor beats you to death every day. Every day. Then condescends to you and revives you again. That's why he was actually asleep until noon, is because yeah, yeah he was still tired from yesterday. <laughs> oh, I remember when we were like that. Not a single care or worry on our minds. 
How each day lasted an eternity, filled with newness, fun, and excitement. Those days are gone, Voltage. <laughs> the important thing now is not our childhood, but my Komodo scale necklace. Yes! We have to face up to reality and live each day anew! I like this, Lena. So, I want you to go to Lizard Rock and get some scales for me. I would join you, but I still have to watch the kids. And it's your fault you were late. Once you collect some Komodo Dragon scales, I will catch up with you at Opasa Beach. Make out point, gotcha. Is that okay with you? Sure. Good. That's what I wanted to hear. Okay, then don't just stand around. Go collect some scales at Lizard Rock. Let's see. Uh, I think three should be enough. Good luck, Voltage. <laughs> I'm counting on you. And first quest to get. And scene. <laughs> so, we have a quest from our girlfriend Lena. We have to go get some Komodo dragon scales to make her a necklace so she won't kill us. Because apparently that's what everybody does in this village, is kill you. <laughs> over and over again. Well, first things first, you did pick up a whole bunch of elements. I sure did. I should probably put those on. Oh, and we have Poshul. And an ivory helmet. Oh, so the thing about items in this game is that everybody has a weapon slot, an armor slot, and then three accessory slots, which implies it involves everything else. So we're going to be messing with that a little bit later on. Right now, it's not so important. I'm just going to go ahead and give this ivory helmet to Surge so that he can, you know, survive. Now, and elements. you can see here the stats, uh, you know, in the different stat blocks, it shows a miniature version of their element grids. It shows their innate elements. Voltage is white and palms here is yellow. Yep, so we're going to give palms our two yellow. Attack ones and one tablet just so that they can have that to work with. And then I'll give Surge our Photon Ray. And uh, characters who have an innate element are slightly more powerful when using an element of that same color. So that's why he's choosing to give uh, Palms the uplift because they're yellow elements and Voltage is going to get the Photon Ray because it's white. Exactly. So anybody can use any element. It's just going to be a little bit stronger when you do it that way gonna go to Cape Hal real quick because there are some items I can get here. Another heal, which is good. Heal is kind of like cure except it's a green element. Uh, and I believe ah! uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but it is um, I think it's a, a level 2 element. Yes. So it's slightly stronger than Cure Base, but what that means is that it can't be placed in a first level slot. It has to be at least a second level slot. Yep. Voltage and Lena forever. Aww. 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 I wonder if Voltage put that up here or if Lena did. And I wonder if the other knows. Also, you may notice uh, Palms there does have two tails. Well, yeah, they're the Wonder Dog. This is never explained. Nope. It doesn't it never explained why they talk either. Yeah, so just, like, don't worry about it. Yeah, we don't question that. Now, the reason why I'm not fighting all these battles in typical JRPG fashion is because the uh, leveling in this game is very strange in that you can only level a certain amount before you just stop leveling in this game. There are certain caps, and they're called star levels. We'll see that in a minute. But, so, basically, it's not worth it unless you're trying to get items. So, here we are at Lizard Rock. Sploosh. Time to find these Komodo scales. First thing I'm gonna do is go fight this beach bum, though. <laughs> Push him over. Uh, you may also have noticed that uh, when he picked up that bone a moment ago, it had sort of an at symbol. That means it's a material that we can use. There's crafting in this game. Yep. Not very much of it, but there is some. Yep, and you can use that to uh, create and improve some weapons, armor, and accessories.
Now you'll also notice, and uh, Radius touched on this, the stamina bar down at the bottom it decreases as you perform attacks and use elements. So that's showing you how many actions you can take. So for example, see, as long as Palms has one stamina, she can still perform another attack, but only a weak attack. She doesn't have enough to perform a strong or fierce attack. Right. But she can use any element that she has charged up. And we might as well use one since we've got it. They're very happy Crunch. lizards. Boom. And the thing about this is that, see over here where Palm's stamina is now at minus 5.1? As I attack with Voltage, their stamina will increase again. Yep, so basically it's showing how long it's going to be before they get another turn, based on other people spending stamina and performing attacks. And you can also get all of your stamina back in one go if you just defend. Mm -hmm. But I really don't do a whole lot of that in this game. Eh, I'm just gonna poke you. Good fight. Okay, so here is... Ah, good. So this is how it works. There's no XP technically. All leveling is uh, random in this game. It's kind of like uh, similar systems that were used in some other Squaresoft games, like Saga Frontier, where basically uh, there's an algorithm in the background that allows you to increase certain stats by using them a lot. So, like, if you get hit a lot, then your, uh, your defense and your HP will go up. If you cast a lot of spells, your magic will increase. But only very small amounts. The only time that it goes up a significant amount is when you defeat an important enemy, and then uh, you will receive a star, which is effective a level. And like I said before, there's kind of a cap on how much leveling you can do uh, before you have to go and get another star level. I think it's like somewhere around 10-ish or something like that. And then you just don't gain any more buffs. You don't, no more HP increases or anything like that. Yeah, you don't have a whole lot of control over it. But those little stat bonuses do add up, so... That's why you don't want to do a lot of trash fights if you don't have other characters in your party. Right. Because you do... Not everybody in... Everybody in the world will level up whenever you get a star level. Everybody who can be recruited will increase their level with that. But not everybody will get those little mini level ups. Right. So basically, everyone's stats do change to match uh, what... Like, whatever the main characters are. Uh, they'll stay comparable. Um, because if you've collected, say, 20 stars, and then you recruit a new character, um, that character will start at, effectively, level 20. Exactly. But they will have missed out on all the little, like, HP plus 2 that Palms there just got from that other battle. And those, because they do add up over time, uh, you know, that can, that can result in a significant decrease in power compared to characters that have been in your party with you. So that makes it worthwhile to switch characters around, um, or to make certain that, uh, you know, if you're going to pick a party that you like, definitely do just stick with them. You may also have noticed right there when that lizard used Squirt Gun, you might have seen like the little sort of yin-yang symbol indicator on there before the name of the element. That shows that it's an innate element. It's a technique. So you cannot find that element and use it as a spell or a consumable. It belongs to that creature, person, or monster, and only they can use it. Hmm, not getting a whole lot of increases. Palms is getting a lot of HP, though. Mm -hmm. Yeah, her, uh, her hit points tend to go up pretty quick. There we go, your first Komodo dragon scale. We only need three of those, but the Komodos here are, like, pretty quick. Mm -hmm. um, and so... I don't think the Komodo scale showed up in here. I guess that was wrong. Not until you have all three of them, I don't think. Because then it becomes the necklace or whatever. Lol. I mean, yes, but, but like, <laughs> really? I suppose I'll forgive you that pun. <laughs> but the, uh, the Komodos here um, are too fast. You cannot catch them. Yeah. So that means that you have to do certain things. Like, this is basically a mini puzzle dungeon. You have to do stuff to cut off their roots of escape and stop them running around so that you can force them into a corner and fight them or surprise them. 
And you may also notice, too, um, that Pixel is running around and he's picking and choosing his fights by running into some sprites and not into others. This is one of those types of games where uh, you only generally fight an enemy if you touch them on the adventure screen. There are no random encounters, like in Final Fantasy VII, for example, uh, where the screen is just going to go blurry and every so many steps uh, it's going to check to see, you know, okay, did you, are you fighting some random enemies now? Boom. Why can this dog use magic? Who knows? Don't worry about it. Because they're the Wonder Dog. Because she is the Wonder Dog, it's true. Ah, poop. Another squirt gun. It's fine. It's just Twill. It's fine. I actually have um, kind of shot myself in the foot in the past because since the character's uh, HP is represented numerically right above their stamina bar, yeah. I have, when I'm glancing at it, mistaken the stamina bar for their health bar. Ooh, yeah, don't do that now. And so, like, they'll have full stamina, and, um... Get in there. And, and so that Stop means that they'll have enemy. a green bar. Oh my god, rock. <laughs> Work with me, there rock. There we go. And so even though they'll have, like, two hit points, I'll see that green bar, and then it's like, ooh, I'm fine. No, you're really not. I'm really not. I'm really actually not Give fine. me the loop. Thank you. Now I'm gonna silver equip loop. this I'm gonna equip this right now because the silver loop increases your um, attack percentage. A loop um, is kind of like uh, if you've ever seen a jeweler or like a gem cutter and they have those sort of monocle things that fit over one ear in front of one eye and it has different um, lenses that you can flick up and down to change magnification, that's a loop. I thought it... I'm glad you said that because you're right, and I always thought that the loop was just like a loop of, like, metal, like a chain or something. Nope, that's L-O-O-P loop. I thought you thought it was a fancy spelling for it. Nope. It's like a jeweler's loop, so yeah, that's why it increases your hit percent. That makes more sense, actually. <laughs> These guys are so big and friend-shaped, I hate beating them up. They're uh, like weird giant frog things, and I love them. Yeah, and they move like a penguin, the way that they just kind of skid forward on their bellies. Oh yeah, I forgot I switched out his heel for an aqua beam. Okay. Well, alright then. Lasers! Boom. Uh, yeah, I think so, actually. I think they might be a reference to that. Oh, yeah, those, uh... I know the ones you're talking about. I forget what they're called, though. But, yeah. The, the mus or something? Muse. Muse? News. A new... And you can see here, too, at the end of each fight... Ooh, I got a tablet from that. That's rare. Very nice. Uh, you can see that uh, you can choose to heal using elements. And that includes um, not just consumable elements, but also if you have any elemental charge left on your grid after you come out of a battle, you can use that leftover unspent energy to cast, like, cure and heal spells that you have equipped. So that that way it will avoid using your uh, consumables if you choose to. There, I'm actually going to put some heals on so I can heal after battle. I wasn't doing that. Whoops. Oop, need to go this way. Okay, Whee! now for this one we got to just chase this little guy. Yeah, this is the only one that's like kind of slow, and you basically just have to run around and cut corners until you catch up to him. Come back here. As you can see, Pixel's slowly gaining. Got you. There we go. All of the others, you have to do something to, like, block their path. And that's the only one that, for some reason, is dragging its feet. Dragging its feet. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you're funny. Sorry, I felt like it was time for another pun. Again? Again with that.
Yeah, these little guys are so cute. They are adorable. They are like... I don't like the the, the friendliest velociraptors. <laughs> I'm gonna smash it with a rock. Also, I really appreciate what they were doing with this engine uh, when this came out on the PSX. Oh yeah. Uh, because like, if you look at the uplift spell, for example. Um, it actually takes a chunk out of the battlefield, and you'll see that, like, it's a texture appropriate and everything. And that goes for whatever battlefield you are on. Whoop. Down the hole. Ta-da! Another bone. This one is sadly not for... Oh, I... Yeah, forgot about that, that yeah, guy. The hidden he just bone. shows up out of nowhere, yeah. But sadly, that bone is not for partial for palms. Well, she already has her Hecron bones. So. That's gonna last her a while. Yeah. I'm sure it'll be fine. It'll last her the whole adventure, apparently. Come on, beat him up. I love how she the kind of stands up on her back feet and boxes them. Well, she does equip gloves. Yep, yeah, that actually is her weapon type. So, Voltage, you'll see that he's using this sort of um, double-ended staff sword weapon. It's called a Sea Swallow, if I remember correctly. Yep, it's called a Swallow, and it is supposed to be an oar. Or at least modeled after an oar, like a, a double-ended oar that you would use in a canoe. Right. Which makes sense. Yeah, he comes from a seaside fishing village. Uh, so he's the only character that uses those. And uh, then the other types of weapons are, let's see, glove, sword, um, staff, and rod. Uh, there's a couple characters that use uh, darts, I think, or, uh. or something <clears throat> like that. Basically, a, sort of a throwing weapon. Uh, there's uh, axes. axes. Yep. There's is there, picks. Is there a two-handed sword also, or is it only one-handed sword? As far as I'm aware, it's only one-handed sword. Yeah. Um, or another helmet. And then, uh, yeah, picks. And not picks like a mining pick, but pick like like a guitar pick. Yeah. Specifically guitar pick. I don't think... Are there any bow and arrow users? No. It's all melee. That's what I thought. Oh, and daggers. There yep, are some people daggers. who use knives. Okay, got that. Time to go fight this last Komodo. Now, when we fight this last one, it's actually going to summon the boss. So, you've got to make sure that you're ready for it before you do that. These beach bums don't pose much of a threat. Oh, absolutely not. Now, we, yeah, we kind of were joking about that earlier, like, you know, Komodo, Komodo confirmed. Um, and I'm not 100% certain why they're called Komodo dragons. Um, they, they do have fire attacks, so they are actually a, liter a literal dragon. Um, but I don't know if Komodo was a localization thing by the English team um, or if they were called that in the Japanese version as well and in either case I'm not 100% certain why they chose it. It does sound vaguely fantasy just because it's a name that you don't hear you know, in usual conversation every day but it's also a known quantity, so it's something that's going to be recognized as like, huh, this is just a real world thing that you pulled. Kind of like in Final Fantasy VII, how in Tifa's bar it just says Texas on the wall. <laughs> okay, see, and that's interesting because then it makes me wonder why they picked it. Hmm. Maybe they just liked it. Which is totally fine. Darn beach a little bum. Little but fine. Well, I guess I'm going to get all the mini-levels out of this area that I can, right before I get my first star. That's okay, I guess. 
You know, I don't know why I said it like that. That's actually okay. I want to have those before I go into this first boss fight. Okay, that beach bum is down. Oh my god, the accuracy is not great in this game. It really punishes you if it's not at like 95. Yeah, this is one of those where I feel like um, they uh, they use whatever the percentage listed is as your miss chance instead of your hit chance. Yeah. Like if it says you have a 90% chance to hit, that's actually, you have 10% yeah, chance. Yeah, see, I had a 91% chance, still missed. And yeah, that's actually oh also... My god. Um, Thank you. That's also quite possible, just because it is down in a, an archipelago of tropical islands. So they may have picked Komodo because that is a tropical island. Or rather, like they're from, you know, Komodo dragons are from a tropical island as well, so. Oh, hey, hey, there we go. We got big a big level one. up. Nice, nice, Strength nice, nice. and resistance, and then, she, ooh, she got magic as well. Her magic's not great, so that's actually pretty good. Yeah, that's, uh, that's Potion's only real weak spot, is that her magic kind of sucks, and it never really gets much better. Okay, here we go. Now we play the waiting game. Okay, come on. And when it passes right underneath, it takes a moment to cycle so that you can get in position and get, let let you get ready. Darn it! Yeah, there is a pause, so it's very tricky with the timing. Yeah, you have to press X like uh, a little before it gets where you want to land. Good news is, is that we don't have to fight those battles anymore, though. Yep, random encounters generally stay defeated if you come back through the same area. Okay, come on. Come on. Got there you. you. Go. Nice. Mario stop. Now the thing about this boss fight is that um, once you defeat these Komodos, there is not a separate second fight. Um, the boss shows up in the same battle. Oh yeah. And the game doesn't tell you that, so that means that if you waste your powerful elements on these Komodo dragon babies here... You do not have to use them against Mama. Yep, you do not have them to use when the boss shows up. So, it's not a really super tough boss fight. Um, and I think that that is because it is trying to teach you to conserve your elemental use. But you, it can also be tough if you come in here with just Surge and you haven't gotten palms yet. Mm -hmm keep going back and forth with the names. Yeah, if you haven't recruited Poshul or Palms in our case, then um, these battles can be much more difficult. Especially since you only have three elements to use at the moment. Mm -hmm. Okay, here we go. Big, oh, she's angry! Big Mama Komodo! This is what they grow up to be. That's why the others are called Komodo Pups. Alright, you... This is where those elements are going to come into play. Like I said, she's not a super tough boss, but... I'll throw rocks at her. Maybe that'll work. <laughs> and uh, even though these creatures eat fire, and like I said before, they're supposed to breathe fire as well, uh, I think that she only uses blue elements in this fight. Yeah, she's blue and eight. And so, ironically, even though they're supposed to be fire dragons, um, if you bring red elements like a tablet in, then uh, putting red on the field will actually weaken her. That's another reason why it's a really good idea to uh, go to Cape Howl and get that heal element, too. Because if you use a blue cure element in this fight to recover HP, it will make the boss stronger. 
There we go. See, that tablet puts one red as well as one blue on the field effect, so that negates the strength bonus. And you'll see her too. Look, she's getting a little visibly weak. Every enemy in the game has a, uh, like a weakened state where you can visibly tell that their HP is depleting and that they're getting close. I'm not sure when they do it, if it's 25 it's... or 20%, maybe? I never could figure that part out. I think it's when they're at a third of their health. Yeah, I'm, I'm not exactly certain. I don't have much choice but to... Oh, was that it? Yes! Yeah, that was all so dramatic. Boom. All right. Yes, our first star level. Yep, so this is your first star. Reached a new growth level, one of one. There we go. It means that our stats go up and we get a new slot for elements. Yep, because that's another thing about stars that's really important. You'll see each of them just gained a first level element slot on their grid, and you can see it kind of blinking there in the box. You only gain new elemental slots when you gain a star. Nice. And look, Palms there is already at uh, 83 health. Oh. Oh, shoo shoo! We now have three Komodo scales. Breath, get moving to Opatha Beach and wait for Lena. All right. So to Opatha Beach to meet our girlfriend. Give her this present she wanted. Now, it's also worth saying here, um, because there is an important conversation option coming up that does matter. Oh, yeah. Um... The choices you make in this game do matter, in they, fact. They do matter. Now, there, there are games out there, like the original Final Fantasy XII, of course. Uh, Y'all may have heard the legend of the Zodiac Spear, huh. um, which is just impossible, you know. But here, there are choices where they have long-reaching consequences or far-reaching consequences, and the game doesn't warn you that they're going to but it does kind of make it obvious what the correct choice is. And you'll see here in just a moment. Most of the time. Hey, it's Lena. She's back. Sorry I'm late. I hope you didn't wait too long, Voltage. Still Her carbonated. <laughs> oh, Palms, I didn't expect to see you here. This is where you went off to. Whee! Lena's here! How are you doing? Oh... Are you two on a date? Sorry. Me think me should leave you two alone. Oh, please. Don't be silly. Yeah, Lena is not here on a date. <laughs> <laughs> She's here for her necklace, darn it. So, of course, that dialogue doesn't occur if you don't have Potion recruited, obviously. So, um, this is definitely one of those games where uh, it's worth playing more than one time. Just to see what the different interactions are between characters and yeah. in cutscenes. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, because there is some degree of, like, party banter. Well, how'd it go? Did you get the Komodo Dragon scales? Sure did. Here they are. Oh, they're beautiful. I'll be able to make a great necklace with these. Thank you, Voltage. <laughs> and you too, Palms. Ahem, <laughs> no problem. <laughs> and yeah, Potion's pretty quick on the uptake. Mm-hmm. Faster than some. It sure has been a long time since we last came here. We used to come all the time. Yeah, and then Lizard Rock got infested with Komodos. Yeah, so that no one could just walk here safely. Mayor got tired of putting them all down. Said something about extinction and the balance of nature. I don't know. The sea never changes, does it? It's been rolling in and out like this since long before we were born. It's been here for eternity, it seems. It's probably seen many things. Heard many things. It'll probably keep rolling in and out. In and out, long after our lifetime without a single change. Lean so is deep. Yeah, like the sea. <laughs> hey, Voltage. Remember we used to sit and talk like this when we were kids? With the gentle sea breeze and the tranquil sound of the waves. Just the two of us, talking. 
you still remember that day? So here is the choice. Yep. Um, and the reason, like, obviously, even though I don't remember is the first choice and is the one that's highlighted by default, and so rip if you just, like, pound the yeah. X button through these conversations. <laughs> so long to you. Um, but I remember is obviously the choice that the game wants you to pick. Um, because of the tone of the scene and the, the way that they've already established the relationship between these two characters and so on. Right. So, like, it's not a mystery that they expect you to say that you remember. But the reason that you definitely want to say that is because um, characters have unique elements. They have those technique elements that they can get, and everybody's got three. Well, um, Lena can be recruited later on to join your party, which is one of the reasons she has a portrait. Not everyone with a portrait can be recruited, so like, don't think yeah. we're going to get mom in the party, unfortunately. Unfortunately. But if you're an important character with a portrait, most of the time you can get in the party, and therefore you'll have techniques. Her ultimate technique, um, you cannot get it unless you choose to remember with her here. Yeah. If you say the wrong conversation options... It's locked you, out. It's locked out and you can't get it later. Really? You do? So, Voltage, you haven't forgotten about the promise we made that day? And, of course, you need to say, I haven't forgotten. <laughs> that makes me happy. Why did you suddenly change her tone? She's happy. She hasn't been happy until now. <laughs> but aren't memories strange? Just when you think that you've forgotten about something, it comes floating back into your heart. Ugh, like cholesterol. I was thinking flotsam on the waves, but okay. I guess it's just lying there in wait, waiting for that right moment. We might even remember this very moment someday. In 10, 20 years, when we're all grown up and married and have kids of our own, then one day... When that time comes, I wonder what kind of adults we'll be. What kind of life will I be leading? wonder what to make of this day. And again, Pixel is going to choose, uh, we'll never forget we'll this never day. never forget this day. Yeah, because if you choose the other one... Then you don't get it. So. Yeah. Because what it is, is there's several options here in this conversation, and you basically just need to agree with and support Lena. Um, and I think you have to choose two out of the three correctly, so it gives you multiple chances. But if you get too many of them wrong and upset her uh, or dismiss her, then... Oh, oh what was that? Strange things happening. It's been something I've been wanting to... Hold up. Wait, did you hear that voice? There it is again. Voltage, voltage. Echo, echo, echo. What's wrong, Voltage? Are you going flat? <laughs> going flat. Voltage? Voltage. Voltage is having a moment. A voltage. Disassociating so hard right now. Look at these sweet late 90s CGI graphics. <laughs> yeah, he dissociated into a higher resolution. Uh oh. Uh oh. Tsunami. Goodbye, cruel world. Oh, but wait. It's the live stream again! Joke's on you, we're just playing Final Fantasy it's 7. It's Jolene! She's here to save us again! Face plant. Oh man, he just got sand like right up his nose. And that's the game. Yeah, thanks Good night, for playing. Everybody. Hope you had a good time with Chrono Cross. <laughs> thanks for joining us. What it are is, you doing here? It is it's dangerous probably, to sleep out here. It is, yeah, it is probably dangerous to sleep out here on the the dragon infested beach. Yeah, don't do that. It's dangerous to sleep out here. Take this, put some blanket over you. Ah, a dragon! Oh wait, that's just an old woman. <laughs> you all right, boy? What on earth are you doing lying down anyway? For a second there, I thought you might have been a dead body washed ashore. I was about to search you for credit cards, but... 
I guess if you're gonna get up. <laughs> of course, if you don't need those credit cards. I'm not giving the cash back, though. <laughs> oh, where's Lena? Oh, you were the only one I saw when I got here. Are you a friend of Lena's? I believe she's in the village babysitting. Well, I'd best be on my way. Anyway, if you're looking for Lena, you should stop by the village. You know, you shouldn't be playing out here, boy. You wouldn't want anything to happen to you now. Well, okay, goodbye then. It's dangerous for a young man like you, but perfectly safe for an old lady like and me. And suddenly... Bushel's back! Voltigipoo, you're finally up. Something went whoosh! And me without cold, too. Me woke up first, though me went to go rook around. But no sign of Lena anywhere. Do you think Lena spontaneously combusted? <laughs> me wonder if she's okay. That is my <laughs> favorite line in the whole game. That's a wrap. Thanks for playing. God, Paschal, you're so combusted. good. I love you. And that's how they explain that Poshal is still with you. Yeah, somehow they so, got knocked out too and just joined you. You are very welcome. Anytime. So, so some strange things have happened. You'll notice uh, that the uh, the music is a little different. Slightly, slightly different. Just a bit. Also, I can't walk through Lizard Rock here. I have to actually enter it. I love this track, and we're not going to sit here and listen to it right now just because, like, we'll hear more of it eventually anyway. Uh, but, man, that haunting sort of uh, main map theme. So good. One of my favorite Square Enix tracks. Hey, a feather. Hey, nice. We do love a good feather. Nope. I would go up there, but there's nothing up that side. Not in this, not in this world. See? Oh no. And of course I ran right into this thing. A fish. A flying fish. Oh, fishy, fishy. Oh, I love the design of these monsters. All the monster designs are pretty good. An opa fish. Opa. Opa. Oh. I missed. Oh no, they do a fireball. I think when a fish starts shooting fireballs at you, it's it's time to either I mean that's let's that's some deadliest cat shit. Uh, like that's it's time to either become a fisherman and like get proactive about it, or it is time to move away from the nearest body of water, like way away. <laughs> Opa fishy style. Opa fishy style? Yep. Uh Oh no, Poshal. Oh, I, I guess. It's already been said, so... Look at those fish. Look at their eyes. No, I don't think so. Like, that fish is high as hell. <laughs> it has front-facing eyes. You know it's a predator. Oh god. Oh god. Oh no. Oh no. Oh yay, little HP for everybody. Nope. Darn it. Yep. <sighs> well, and uh, the ability to heal using elements at the end of a battle uh, also makes a good argument for, um, like, trying to finish a fight with some elemental charge still on your grid. Um, now, it's going to be a little bit harder in boss fights, but also usually you know, in a boss fight, after you have blown all of your elements uh, and, and then you're going to come out with no charge or whatever, like, that's fine because once you defeat a boss, generally you're in kind of a safe place in this game. Yeah, usually. Like, you're, there's not really anywhere I can think of where you fight a boss and then immediately have to go right back out from the cutscene into a room and fight like, more. Yeah, like, full of, of trash mobs. And I mean, you can always avoid them at that point, too, but... Yeah, some of them are harder to avoid, like these fish here, uh, but none of them are really impossible to avoid. Ooh, yay, a nice mini-level there. Good. A half-star, so to speak. 
I, I guess if you want to call it that, yeah. Because those increases are never as good as the ones that you get from a uh, uh, from a full star, but no, they're never. always worth it. Because all of those stat increases, of course, are permanent. Oh, gotta fight that fish. Oh yeah, you gotta get the treasure. Are you kidding me? Cannot leave a treasure chest unopened. Especially not in this game, because there's like very few treasure chests that you would want to leave behind. Mm -hmm. They'll either have some sort of piece of equipment, an element, key item, or uh, some kind of material that you can use to create something else. It's always worth it, usually. Unless you're like, ah, oh, I got another bone. I've got, I've got 200 bones. I don't need any more bones. Bone? 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 <laughs> Uh, you may also notice up there in the top right-hand corner here on the battle screen, um, it is possible to see that triangle option. Oh, yeah. Uh, you can switch that to dynamic, which is where I usually have it, uh, or normal. Normal is a more fixed camera mode uh, where there is less movement around the battlefield, so this is the version that you've been seeing. Dynamic will do things like zoom in on targets, uh, and it will make spell casting and special abilities seem a little more cinematic. I'll turn that on the next battle I get into, show you guys what that's like. Right now, I'm gonna open this chest. Yeah, and you have to be careful because you can push the chest off into the water. Yeah, you sure can. I have done that before, and I've just been like, well, I guess I'm loading it. Oh, speaking of which, actually, before I get too much farther in, real yep. quick. Hey, she's got room for another uplift. I'll give her an aqua beam. I like aqua beam. I like the way it looks. It's literally a water laser. You got to see it, of course, in the fight with the Mama Komodo. There's no real reason to go up there and fight that thing. Because I'm yeah, going to fight I, one right here. Yeah, and I think that that's the last treasure chest too, isn't it? It is. There's only like three things coming through here. Uh, and I think it's like another ivory helmet? If I remember correctly, I something like that, if not that exactly. You can tell that Pixel has an even better memory for this game than, like, I do for Final Fantasy VII. But There's a reason by, for that. By far. Yeah, well, because I don't possess a memory? Well, I mean, <laughs> that. But also because uh, I played this game many multiple times as a child for reasons. Yeah, I think that that is... Yep, yep, there another you go. Ivory so helmet. now Poshal has an ivory helmet. No, I already had one on Poshal. I think I can equip another one on them, though. I can't remember if you can double up on same type accessories. I think you can. Nope. I've that's already got one equipped, so it won't let me. Yeah, I was going to say, I think you can't. Oh, well, that's So, like, right. you can't equip two helmets, you can't equip two bracelets, uh, but you can equip, like, a helmet and a loop and a, a vest or whatever. Yep. Now, uh, let's see. Probably want to go to the village first. Uh, you want to go to K Pal, don't you? Oh, there are some items you can get there. Yes, you're right. Because you will have to come here again, uh, but like, there's no reason not to go ahead and do what you did the first time. I'll go get which this Which is just one come first. here and grab this stuff because a bone. And this is an electro jolt, right? Yeah. Yep. Which is the second. Uh, the mm -hmm. second level yellow element. Ha ha! Very nice. That was smooth. Yeah, I'll equip that onto Pulshul here in a second. So, back at K-Pal. Everybody remembers what this said, but wait, it looks a little different. Voltage and Lena forever. Right? What's it say now? It's a tombstone, it says. Oh, man. Uh, it looks like Poshal is digging there for a second, and I was like... Yeah, he won't read it right now. Oh, that's right. I almost forgot. <laughs> Hold that suspense. Just hang on to that. <laughs> Store it away for later. We'll be using it later. Ah, 
I love the designs of these levels. Mm -hmm. It's a very pretty game, I think. Okay, over back to Arnie Village. Or do you want to go to the Hydra Marshes? Nope, I'll do that after. Lena! Here we go. Back home to our beautiful village. Hmm. Some slight differences for Whee! those of Keen of Eye. Yeah, a fisherman's wearing a slightly different hat. Lena, you just left me dead on the beach. Lena, so this is where you were. How could you just leave us and go back on your own? Go back on my own? What are you talking about, Palms? And who are you? Have we met somewhere before? Gasp. Are you from Termina? What are you saying, Lena? Hey! Yeah, you! Sorry, a young child is yelling at me. What? Oh, if, don't you try to pull any moves on Lena, you jerk, like they're protecting her. <laughs> don't be silly. No one's swimming out too far now, you hear? God, says the child. Fine. <laughs> Uh, I guess kids will be kids. Don't worry about them. Hmm. You know? You look like a lot like a boy who used to live next door to me. I do live next door to you. See, I don't remember if this one's important. I think you can say whatever this time around. Uh, or I think you have to say what was his name. I think it doesn't matter here. I think you're safe. Why do you want to know his name? I don't know. You brought it up. Yeah, like you mentioned it. That boy died. <laughs> God. He drowned when he was very young. The mayor did it. This all happened ten years ago. <laughs> God, the mayor did it. He, he made us all up. watch. <laughs> Soon after, his mother passed away, too. That's sad. I was still very young back then, so I don't remember too well, but my mom says his name was... Voltage. Gasp. dun dun I'm Voltage. Sure, Voltage. Look at me! Stop it, that's not even funny. That boy is dead. Don't you understand? <laughs> Weird, that's my name too. Yeah. That boy... I guess I kind of liked him. If that boy were still alive today, I wonder what would have become of us. Let me show you. Sure is weird. Why am I opening up to you like this? Eh, I guess there's no use thinking about the past. It's not like Voltage is going to come back. <laughs> oh, Mom always tells me I shouldn't dwell on a lost loved one. You can find his grave up on Cape Howl. We buried him way away to, you know, <laughs> prevent temptation for the mayor. What? <laughs> They wouldn't dig him up and beat him again. Oh my god! Actually, why don't you go visit the gravesite? No one's been up there in a while. Already been. Uh, I still have some chores to finish. Uh, sorry I blew up at you like that. It's alright. I'm used to it. Bye, stranger. Well, bye, I guess. Her chores are staring at the ocean. Well, yeah, that's where the kids are. And I wish my chores were staring at the ocean. Okay, so, a couple of things. Let's go visit our house real quick. Except this is Lena's house. <laughs> I think there's... Game, are you going to do this to me? Or is there nothing here this time? No, I think that there's supposed to be another... Oh, there yeah, we there go. You go. You the game can be right really spot. finicky. Another photon ray. Awesome, love that. This is my house. 
keep out and beware of mad Ekrinth. Me hath embarked on a wrong journey. Please do not come rooking for I. Oh, right. The game does that. Sometimes you'll go to check with something and the the voice bubbles will come up and you can't move, and other times you can move around freely while they're talking. And you can just walk right out the door and ignore them. Here we go. Yep, up into your house. The room looks different. Voltigey poo? Mama voltigey poo? Did you redecorate? It looks the riddle de prep thing. <laughs> my house, my beautiful, colorful house. There's a Komodo in my room. Rook's like this room's redecorated too. It kind of rook's like a junk room. And it's so dusty in here. I think you have to talk to the Komodo to open the windows, right? What are you doing here, man? This is my island. I'll let you rest here for a little while, man. What a rest, man. Not this moment. There's man. something... There's like a magma bomb here, I think. Aha! That's our first uh, area of attack element. Yep. So I'm basically going to do what I did <laughs> at the beginning of all this and run around uh, collecting junk. Oh. What are you doing in my house? Uh, ransacking it? My house isn't a playground for you kids, all right? Go play outside. This is my house. Who are you, mister? This is Voltigipoo's house, isn't it? And where's Mama Voltigipoo? Stop making me say that. <laughs> say Voltigipoo more. Ooh, Marge. Who the heck's that? I've lived in this house for five years. That name doesn't ring a bell. Hmm. Five years? Is that true, mister? This is very, very weird. <laughs> <laughs> I love she looks into the camera. Come on. Well, just shove me out of the way, then. Rude. Sure. Why not? Fine. Keep the house. Uh, is there something at the shop, I think, too? Uh, sort of, yeah. Here, I'll show you. I think it's just, there we go. You found yes. a rainbow shell. You lost the house of the divorce. Except it's not for sale, so. Yeah, you have to come back later and pick it up, I think. Yeah. Remember, that's there. It's a special tool that will help us later. I like this version of the restaurant better, though. Cafe Fleur. And here's the poetry girl again. Are you from Termina? How's it going over there? I bet everyone's really excited about the Viper Festival. I think I'd be really excited about the Viper Festival too. I would be checking around my feet and under <laughs> my bed and in my shoes the whole time it was going on. I gave up on my poems ages ago. It's just a stupid dream I was obsessed with. I never did have any talent. How do you know about that? Nobody knows about my poetry. It really doesn't matter anymore if I'm writing poems or not. Nobody would give a hoot about someone writing poems at a tiny little cafe in the middle of nowhere. Oh, a tiny little cafe in the middle of nowhere. Oh, well, just remember, dreams do come true. Weirdly aggressive support? Yeah. <laughs> and she's not having any of it, apparently? We live in the middle of nowhere, in this tiny village, leading small lives. Nothing's ever going to change, no matter how hard you try. That's just the reality. Wow, thanks. What a downer. Bleak. Fine, be that way. I'm gonna, to I'm gonna go talk to this pot. It's much more entertaining. Pot, please. It's just a pot. No, we've been through this. It's more than just a pot. Set him just a pot. God, here. Gimme. Yes, Ice Lance. And that's a second level blue attack element. Sure is. And it is what it says on the tin. 
There's uh, no Hecarim bone for us to find this time around, but... There is a tablet. Nice. Always pet the cat. I think probably should go talk to the chief. I guess so. He had some stuff over there in, well, the other home world, so... Yeah. Oh, they got rid of their big fish. Hmm, what's Didn't going catch on? It. Check the... Uh, yep. Yeah, there you go. Turn red. Behind the very same painting. Another tablet. Uh -huh. All right. I think that's everything. Pretty much. Still can't use the save point over there. Nope. That's all right, though. That cat has the yard all to himself. Just Lucky. how it wants it. Lucky. I guess we should probably go to Cape Howell, then. Yep. I mean, that's where everything's directing us. Which means I'm not going to do that. <laughs> Instead, I'm going to come all the way over here to this place. The Hydra Martians. A very friendly place. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, so apparently there were creatures called Hydras here, and when they died off, this place became polluted and acidic. Yep. But it's really because of humans. Yep, because they killed so much of the flora and fauna, harvesting them for, like, medicinal parts and things. So, there's an environmental message in the show each and every evening. Yep. And, uh, you can see the screen shaking a little bit when I'm in the water. That is because this is actually hurting me. Yeah, it's not super bad, but, like... I don't think it can kill me. I think it can only take you to one hit point. Yeah. I think. Damned amateurs, don't expect me to save you when you die of poisoning. It's alright. I don't expect much from you anyway. It is the worst spa. There we go, a tablet. A tablet. We want to run up here into the uh, tempura shrimp <laughs> tree. That is what it looks like. Oh my gosh, I'm glad you said that. <laughs> Let's see, I don't think anything's over here. It's on this side. Everything's kind of flooding back to me in pieces. I thought there was something hidden back here, but maybe I'm crazy. It might be on the next screen, because I remember there being a thing. It's like a, it's, there's a green attack element, I think, maybe? Something like that. There it is. There we go. Nope, yellow. Another electro drill. Oh, I think the green one's through that northern screen. Hey, buddy. Hey, 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 you gotta be crazy to walk around this forest without protective gear. Yep, give me some. I have an extra set with me. Take them. This way you'll be able to walk through the marsh without getting hurt. Awesome. I don't think it really needed that, like, <laughs> orchestra sting, but okay. Uh, that's a key item, so... Oh, and watch out for the monsters lurking deep within the forest. We haven't actually explored those parts yet. We don't know how to get there. That's fine. Now you're good. I don't think... Nope, there's nothing else here, so we need to get out of here. It's a surprise tool that's going to help us now. <laughs> So yeah, so that's the safety gear. It allows you to walk through the marshes without being poisoned to death. Oh, you should show the art. Hmm? Oh, yeah. Boop. There it is. Ancient medieval hazmat suit. Don't ask me how they made it. <laughs> Love it. It's very good. head back down to the uh, Man, I that first room, and I think that there is something ye old hazmat yeah, suit. Yeah, definitely. Indeed. I 
think there's one more treasure chest here that we can get before we need to get out of yeah, here. Yeah, I think it's through that northern door. There's one. Yay, and no more poisonings. No more, yep. And because it's a key item, it magically works for the whole party when Voltage puts it on. Let's see, I think it's over here. Yep. There you go. That's there it, a it is. Bushwhacker. A, a green attack element. The elements are kind of dualistic in here. Um, green elements are very wind and plant based. Yeah, wind and wood. And then yellow is lightning and earth. Uh, blue is water and ice. And then red is like fire and magma. It's just, yeah, it's basically fire. But it's interesting that they paired yellow with, like, both earth, rock, stone, that kind of thing, and also electricity, lightning, so on, because that's an unusual pairing. I'm gonna go ahead and use some tablets, since I got so many of them. There you go. Alright, and up into Cape Howell. We've already been here once. Yada, yada. Mm -hmm. Mm -mm. <laughs> mm -mm. Smooth. Every time. Not gonna get me. You'll see this time the sun is setting. Yep, A time has different. passed. Yeah, go on. I gotta. This has gotta be a personal thing, Poshul, so. Give me a moment. Palms just kind of walks out of the cutscene politely. Because if, if they're right, this is my grave. I'm dead here. I'm yep. kneeling on my own bones. Beloved Voltage died age seven. Nobody can take anything away from him, nor can anyone give anything to him. What came from the sea has returned to the sea. You see? Gasp. Guys were dead. You must be Voltage, the ghost of the boy who died ten years ago. Whomst? Who? Poshul! <laughs> they, they just kicked Poshul right off the cliff! Sorry, Junior. We have no business with your friends. We're just after you. Be a good boy and come with us. But, sir, Karsh, don't you think it's... Truly true that this chap is a ghost. He seems like a perfectly perfect young boy to me. That doesn't matter. We found the boy here just as he said we would, didn't we? Now seize him. Hold your seahorses. Here we go. Another new character I get to introduce. You know, she's important because she gets her own FMV. Who the... Hiya! Good jump! Oi, it's me, the Cockney Ninja. <laughs> I'm a ninja, ain't I? <laughs> Out of the way, Missy. You don't want to get hurt now, do you? Oh my, my god. god. What a random <laughs> slam on selfie out of nowhere. I love it. Shut your trap. You're the ones who'd better get out of the way. You have a problem? Do you have a shaken idea who you're dealing with, Missy? That's enough. Listen up, Junior. Our orders are to take you in. We don't want to hurt you. Just come with us. Or else, this axe of mine will have to do the talking. For crying out loud, you just shut up and get on with it. I'm gonna kick your sorry asses so hard you'll kiss the moons. I'm doing my best to do like the worst. No, you're doing a good job. Like, really terrible multiple British accent. Fair enough. You'll leave us no choice. But you'll regret this, Missy. <laughs> oh, 
boss fight. And unfortunately, Palms can't be here. Nope. So, this is Karsh. He comes with salt and pepper. Salt and pepper. We're gonna kick his butt. Or try to. You look at these yahoos. Ow. Don't poke me like that. Sir, his innately innate element color attribute is white. Right. That does it. Quick, attack him with the opposite element attribute color, black. Oh, how unfortunately unfortunate. I do not seem to have any, sir. You, nincompoop, you should always carry elements of every color. And how about you there? I'm shaking in my shoes to tell you this, sir, but I don't have any either. Yeah, we'll have to let you, Sir Carr, show us how it's done. Uh, useless fools. Um, real men don't need magic when they can fight with their might. He didn't bring any either. <laughs> Karsh, you've got to go down. He is absolutely the most dangerous person here for sure. Boop. Hiya. Hiya. Let's see, have we got. No, not yet. She's okay. got all red because she's an innate red, so. That's fine. I was actually looking for her tech, but she doesn't have it yet, so. Magma Bomb. Oh, that's the first one that hits everybody. Yep. It's pretty decent here at the beginning of the game, too, honestly. All things considered. Poke. Man, that looks like a hell of a hit when he just turns and just arcs it around like that. Oh, yeah. I feel like it should do way more damage than it does, but of course, you know... I'm glad it's it does RPG. it. Yeah. I'm not complaining in game terms. Ow. Yeah, salt and pepper, not too much to worry about there. Man. Yeah, it looks like it wouldn't be fun. It really does not seem like it would be a good time to be hit by that axe. Switch back over to Kid here. Yeah, because you can switch in the middle of a turn, so to speak. It's possible to go back and forth between different characters. Let's hit him with just a regular fireball. And he's down. And of course, they're not using anything red, so the more red appears on the field, the stronger that our uh, mystery girl there gets. I'm going to take out Pepper next, because he's also the next strongest one, and he has a tech that is red-based, which means that the more that the field is red, the stronger he's going to be. Now, I don't want him to get that off, because it's going to hurt. That's all right, though. Thankfully, these guys are jokes. Oh, yeah. They go down real easy. There we go. This fireball will be stronger because... There's more red on the field. Yep. Excellent. See? Easy peasy. And now she can do a maxed out fireball plus two with a fully red field. Boom. See? One shots him. That was pretty good, if I do say so myself. Yay! Hey. New star level. You'll love to see it. Plus six hit points is nice. That plus one magic's a little piddly that that's all he got, but... It's alright, though. I'll take it. Yeah, it's still better than nothing. By far. Aw, oh, thank you. They dropped some good stuff. Excellent. That's right. 
Get on out of here. Sir, Sir Kosh. I say we shake it on out of here so that we can live to fight another day. These aren't no ordinary brats we're dealing with. That's right, we're protagonists. Ah, oh, you damn cowards. As for you, Missy, we won't forget this. Ooh, I'm so scared. I'll be happy to take you on any time. Think I'll lose to scum like you? Ha! Ah! I love this voice you picked for her. You all right, mate? I silently nod. Voltage. She's a mind reader. Your name's Voltage, ain't it? Hmm. Mm. <laughs> oh, me? Uh, my name's... What, what is, is her name? name? You tell us. Oh my god, I hate her character strip back there in the back. Why? Because of the way her ponytail is like over the side there. It just looks so doofy. Because where they split her right down the middle, of course your brain sort of, or at least my brain, fills it in symmetrically. So it makes it seem like she's going to have another one of those on the other side. Like oh. just this obnoxious, Pigtail pippy thing? long stocking kind <laughs> of naughty braid. We've got one vote for girl. Girl is pretty good, actually. <laughs> girl is very funny for like several in reasons. the battle her name her name is actually girl because mm -hmm. you don't know her name yet so i kind of like that that's <laughs> if no one else has any other suggestions we'll go with girl girl is very good hey girl <laughs> girl g-u-r-r-r-l <laughs> Oh, love it. Oh, because of the accent that I was doing very badly on purpose. Girl? Girl, okay. I think it's girl. <laughs> what? Like, oh, like now Mrs. I can love it. Yeah. See, okay. like, now I can, I'm seeing kid like, oh, yeah, of course we could do that. <laughs> it's, it's a, a downright down shame. shame. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Nope. Such an awful waste. Nope. Don't get us started. We will sing the whole song. Okay. Girl it is. Girl it is. How do we spell that? Yeah. Do you want to just do G-I-R-L? Mm, that's boring. We could live spicier than that. Hmm. <laughs> I kind of, I, I do like the triple R. G-U-R-L-L. So. Or just, yeah, do four, G, four R's. Girl. <laughs> so like that? Is, is that what we're doing? Uh, that's pretty is that fun. what everybody wants? I don't know. Is that what y'all want? Uh, oh my god. Oh, like in Betrayal and Antara. She's a girlf. A girlf? Girlf where they have the triple R. Oh lord. Oh my gosh. Thank you. Support from the, from the Antara crowd here tonight. Girl. I... I really like that. We're going to go with girl, then. I think that's very funny. Okay. I think that's very funny. Girl it is, then. Well, girl, girl. it is. Girl. Girl. Is that how you say it? Ooh, girl. Ooh, girl. You have to count beats, because it's four R's, so it's like, girl. I ain't going to do that, but okay. <laughs> All right. Welcome to the team and to the stream, Girl. <laughs> call me girl <laughs> hey girl call me oh this is perfect i love now it. i suddenly feel like that's her voice because of that it's like all oh of my a sudden God, call me girl we have changed her whole girl. personality yes she is oh, completely no. different now what's that oh my god it's so nice to meet you <laughs> <laughs> i just couldn't stand by and watch those blokes gang up on you like that they just pissed the bloody hell out of me. Wish I could have beat them up some more. Why was that mob after you? Huh? What do you mean you've never even met them before, huh? Ah, forget it. Hey, Voltage. How about you and me team up for a while? Ah, that Karsh fella ain't gonna just leave you alone, that's for sure. True. And to tell you the truth, I'm new to these islands. You don't look like a tourist. <laughs> right. 
It's pretty lonely traveling around here on me own. <laughs> why is that funny? Yeah, why did you laugh just then? So how about it, Voltage? Perhaps it was fate we would meet up like this. Perhaps. Hmm. How about no, though? Well, so, yeah, there's a reason here that you are given a choice. Yep. Uh, because I think that, like, if you say, um, if you travel together, she just joins your party Yeah, here, she right? just joins your party automatically, but if you refuse her, then you're able to go and recruit Lena. So I'm going to go do that, because if you travel with Kid automatically from here, you cannot get Lena at all. So... Hang on. She also gets pissed at us. Are you telling me you're going to refuse the company of a lonely, vulnerable, sweet little girl? Uh, you're definitely one of those four things. Mm, yep. You sure there, mate? You might live to regret it, you know. I don't think I will, since I'm kind of supposed to already be dead, so... Well, the, the game really wants you to put her in your oh, party. Oh, it sure does. But no thanks. We're good. Jeez. What? Have it your way, mate. I will. Fight me. No thanks, I'm gay. Come on. Later. There she goes. I'll be heading up north to a town called Termina. Good for you. It'll be getting dark pretty soon. I suggest you go find a place to shack up for the night. Without me. <laughs> Don't want you to become Ekron bait now. <laughs> Why is that funny? Why do you keep laughing at inappropriate times? Well, see ya. Bye. <laughs> Is that her catchphrase now? Bite me? Pretty much. Hey, Potion lived! Palms made it back up. It was terrible. They should be kind to animals. <laughs> and we wake up in our old room, sort of. Apparently you sleep standing up. Apparently. Rise and shine, everyone. A new day awaits. I'm glad I found you here, though. Voltage, right? Kind of feels odd calling you that. People can have the same name, Lena. It's not that deep. <laughs> you know, I've been thinking. Maybe you had some kind of accident and hit your head, and that's why your memory's all messed up. Oh, so we're going the amnesia route for this one. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're really someone else, but you think you're the Voltage who died ten years ago. Yeah, that makes sense. I want to help you. I can't just leave you alone like this. Such a caring person. And you don't seem like such a bad person, either. <laughs> oh, she heard me. You're planning to go to Termina, right? Let me join you. I have some errands to run over there anyway. And to tell you the truth... Feels like I've always known you. Sounds strange, doesn't it? Yep. Well, that's that. Shall we get going? This is gonna be real weird and awkward. Lena has joined your party. You know what that means. And this is so funny because she has already been well established as Lena by this point. Which means like, we can mess with that. Like, she's been Lena for a while. Other people have already called her Lena. You have been told that she's Lena. And then you rename her to, like, you know, Dude or something. <laughs> and suddenly she's just been Dude the whole time. Retroactively. Oh, chat's already coming up with Luca. Luca. Oh, really? Luca? Luca? For hmm. her? Interesting. For Lena. Interesting how that, how that happened, like, very quickly. Lena? Lena? <laughs> She's like <laughs> Lena, but she's, like, legally distinct from Lena. No, it's me, Lena. Just name her girl again. <laughs> girl 2. Girl with three R's. 
other girl. <laughs> oh, Nightmare, um, oh, wait. And, uh, and, uh, mm. Oh, there's not enough. I was gonna say you should name her Anime GF, but there's not enough. There's we're one space short. <laughs> she's our she's our RPGF. Oh gosh. <laughs> I Lena is Lena's pretty good. So Lena or Luca, you y'all pick. Lena it is. All right. Eris. Should be named Eris. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. No, quick. Name her Lena. Lena? <laughs> Hurry. Uh, okay. <laughs> it's just going to get worse from here. Oh, no. See? Oh, no. Hurry. Hurry. <laughs> quickly. Quickly. You have to hurry. <laughs> okay. I wish we could name her, like, Lena TM. Oh, oh, it doesn't have TMs in here. No, Dang. you could do it with one N and then do like capital TM. <laughs> nah. Nah, I like Lena. Lena's good. Here we All go. All right. It's me. I've been Lena this whole time. <laughs> Let's head to Termina. <laughs> All right, sure. Full speed ahead. Okay, I think that's going to do it for this particular session. Well, we do have one more thing I think that you uh, that you probably want to do. Oh, should we do that now or do we want to start the I next think, one with it? No, I think probably now is the best time. Now? Let's just really drive that nail into that coffin. <laughs> Funny you should say that. All right, fine. One more thing then. I'm sure you guys are going to love this. It's great. So you remember we got that shark tooth, right? You remember he was a, a great fisherman with a happy family? Well, not not so much right now. He's kind of going through some stuff. <laughs> yeah, suddenly for some reason. Hey, guy. Oh, hello there. I just finished praying. Here, take a look. It's called Mojo. It's a good luck charm from the Far East. I don't know about all that. Can you feel the love and affection oozing from it? Mm. It's just such an amazing messenger of love and courage. Sure. With all the appropriate trappings, as you can see. Think about it, my brother. How our everyday lives are controlled by uncertainty and fear. <laughs> A stale cactuar. Wow. wow. Can't believe Mojo's freaking wow. dead. Oh. <laughs> um, our spent yesterdays and an uncertain tomorrow. How we live a meaningless today. This holy item, filled with the prayers of people today, protects us and supports us. Come, my brother, let us pray together and bring peace of mind to our hearts. Where you can find true love and peace of mind. I think it's supposed to be where can you. Yeah. It's within Mojo. Voltage is like, all right, you're creepy, creepy yeah, guy. This guy's real creepy, so. Yeah, so the fisherman apparently went through some stuff. Let's try to remind him of who he is in another world. Who he could be. Who he could have been. This is a tooth from a ferocious lion shark. And look at the size of this thing. Judging from that, this baby must have been a good 15 feet. Don't tell me you're the one who caught it. Oh, absolutely not. It was you. What? What did you say? Another me? Yeah, from another world. You know, different timelines, alternate universes, that all thing. So the other me who became a fisherman asked you to give this to me? Not necessarily. Listen, dude, you're just standing here like with your dime store Triforce <laughs> and I'm just trying to help you. What are you talking about? That's enough. There's only one me. How can there be another me out there? Doppelgangers, man. They'll get you. Sure, there was a point in my life when I thought about becoming a fisherman. That was a good ten years ago. But I couldn't do it. I gave up that path right then and there. 
I just gave up. I don't care what you say. This is the path I chose and I don't regret it. Besides, you can't just change the way you live in the blink of an eye. Now, if you would please put that thing away and leave me alone. Alright, fine. Give it back. Go back to praying, I guess. Later! Boogum. Hold on a second there. What? What? What, what was that? Love is always in the air. It's just that no one notices. You, you put, I did, uh, hmm, uh, hmm, uh, ooh, hmm. <laughs> I am Mojo, and I bring on good fortune. God, I hate this character. Boogum. This cannot be happening. How it they. I sense some kind of purpose. Seems like fun. So I will join them, you. Wait, wait, wait a second. There's nothing droll about me. Just a word of advice. Stop them running and come face to face with your life. Uh... A messenger of love and courage I am, Om. I'm lucky, I'm lucky, I'm lucky. <laughs> Mojo joined Om, your party. <laughs> oh god, I hate this character so much. And it's so funny because this is the most... This is the most positive, like, random totem. He's lucky. He oh, said so. are we going with lucky then? <laughs> he did say he was lucky. In fact, he said it mm. three times. He said it more than he said anything else. Mm. <laughs> I like that. That's clever. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, what? You guys don't like Mojo? <laughs> the, the straw idol with the nail through his chest? You don't God, like it's that? It's a really big nail. It's a very big nail. It's as big as he is. Okay, I think Lucky wins. I think Lucky wins? Okay. Oh, uh, he's very... Oh, it's very bad. It's very bad. Okay, yeah. Chat's all in on Lucky. Oh, boy. Lucky it is. Oh, God. Now, now, here's the thing. We can only have three people in our party, and we can't take Surge out. So, who are we replacing? Are yep. we replacing we, Palms the Wonderhound? We or... know we've got to have Palms with us. So, are we taking Lena or Lucky? So, what do you guys want? And this is uh, this is the member select screen. You can see that there is room for a lot of characters. <laughs> so, okay. So we're keeping Lena and saying. So yeah. long to Lucky. For now, at least. Aw, okay. It's okay. Lucky will be here. Yeah, he'll always be with us in our hearts. Uh, Remember, he's there, watching, oh lurking, waiting. Lena, if it makes a difference, is a blue character. And um, and Mojo is a black innate yeah, character. Yeah, Mojo is the first or the, the earliest black innate character that you can get, so. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, exactly. Like, he's not really here to join the adventure. He's just there to screw with that fisherman. Okay. All right, then, guys. And he'll just hang out here exactly like this until we, uh, until we, until we come him. and get him again. So. <laughs> okay, well, folks, uh, this has been a wonderful this is already first stream. A blast. I cannot wait to this play more of so this game. This is so good. Yes, I am. I'm very pleased with how this is going, and I can tell that you're pleased. I'm so happy. You have no idea. I'm very glad. So um, I'm gonna run gonna out go here and, and save. Yeah, we'll just we'll just save it here on the world map, and uh, we're gonna thank you for joining us so much. This has already been a blast. I can tell this is gonna be a great new series, um, and 
I hope that you enjoy it as much as Pixel enjoys it because this is one of his favorites. It's so good, guys. I cannot wait for you all to see all the craziness that happens in this game. It is wild. I cannot wait. I'm so excited. And this way you get a little bit of the uh, this beautiful track on this world map oh, as well. Oh yeah, it's so good. I love those strings. I could honestly just put this on loop and listen to it all the time. It's, it's one of my favorite video game tracks out there. And I hope that you'll enjoy the music as well, the chunky graphics, the great special effects the from the late 90s. The wild characters. Yes, the, the vast array of characters. And I also hope that you will come back and join us again next Monday for more Chrono Cross at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, which is New York and, and Miami, Miami time, time here in the U.S. And uh, don't forget, of course, I'm going to start a new playlist for Chrono Cross over on YouTube. So after you follow and sub here on Twitch, if you're not already doing that, be sure to jump over to YouTube and look for this video. Mm -hmm. And you can follow there and turn on notifications as well. Also, and don't forget to follow us on Twitter and on Facebook and on Pillowfort. That's right. And that way you can keep up with everything that we're doing on the channel. And... I am so looking forward to more of this. Oh, me too. And I hope that you all are as well. So just, this is, this is going to be great. This has already <laughs> been really good, and it's only going to get better from here. We'll see you all next time, and as always, thanks for playing.